my identity and history is no longer a secret to Nigeria. Vary speaks reveals a shocker during a welcome address today. I greet you, my dear people in the house. It's a pleasure meeting you all on this um, broadcast. You see, the issue of President Mulberry and the welcome address he gave today, though, turned out to be more or less like a shocker. Because even when he introduced the headline of what he is uh, about to speak on, you know, today, a lot of persons' um, mind went far away somewhere else. Some persons thought that so this man has um, decided to reveal his true identity. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was a shocker, a serious one, as I tell you. Well, um, to the humble surprise of so many people, he diverted the speech to his failure. <laughs> All right. Um, notwithstanding, the truth is still not far from, from itself. Be it his failure, his identity, his history, or whatever. What's he is is who he is you understand and um mind you he has even completed the tunnel how many months is still remaining it's not even up to a year you understand so that just it so let's quickly um check on the content my dear listeners this is evening news president Mohammed Buhari in his independence day broadcast said his identity and story in the annals of Nigerian history is no longer a household secret, as he failed and later succeeded in his various attempts to become the country's president. According to him, I am honored to say that my story in the annals of Nigerian history is no household secret. My various attempts, failures, and eventual success in being elected as a democratic president in 2015 was made possible by the majority of Nigerians. When you elected me, I readily acknowledged that the tasks before me were daunting, but surmountable because of the growing national consensus that our chosen route to national development was democracy. This democracy was to be anchored on a clear understanding, applications and the principle of separation of powers supported by a reformed public service that is more effective. I then pledged to improve the economy, tackle corruption and fight insecurity and this was further strengthened by my commitment to lift 100 million Nigerians out of poverty in 10 years as the central plank of my second term in 2019. To the glory of God and His grace, as well as the commitment and passion displayed by many Nigerian supporters, we have made appreciable progress in these areas, but not yet at our destination. Mindful of the task before us, we took some time in setting down and we have positioned the economy by providing strategic intervention in core areas at both the federal and sub-national levels. One of the areas where we have made significant progress is in the eradication of deeply entrenched corruption that permits all facets of our national development. We strengthened the institution for tackling corruption and also cultivated international support, which aided the 
repatriation of huge sums of money illegally kept outside the country. The increasing number of prosecutions and convictions with associated refunds of large sums of money is still ongoing. Furthermore, we would continue to block opportunities that encourage corrupt practices. Hmm. My dear listeners, Barry has said his own. He has said his own. You see, this that he has just said right now, he only said to defend himself. If we are to go through this content and give the analysis page by page, you will be angry. I know the number of Nigerians that will be angry and they will be forced to say lackadaisical things, sarcastic things. So even some will even want to abuse and say all sort of and uh, sort of things and mannerism of things. You said what? You 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 delivered 10, 10 million Nigerians, maybe ten thousand Nigerians from poverty. Or you increased it. Your administration increased the level of poverty. Look at the, 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 the level of unemployment in Nigeria the moment you came in. How many youths are out of work? How many youths are on the street begging? Because of you, we now have executive beggars. A lot of people have turned to hawkers. The number of people hawking on the street has increased the numbers. You say you did what? <laughs> you see, it pains me seriously when I hear some of our leaders who actually know the truth and will still be defending Mr. President only because his administration has favored his own children, their own children. Why are we defending Mr. President when we actually know the truth? When we actually know the pain and the harm it has caused the innocent youth? Why are we defending him? Why can't we just tell the truth and let the devil be ashamed? That is the problem. And that is the reason why Nigeria will still remain static, not going forward. If only, only we can speak up and say the truth the way the truth is, I'm very sure that Mr. President will know his place. I'm happy when he said, he said it that his failure is no longer a secret because he knows that he failed and he failed woefully. And Nigerians are not even happy about that. I rest my case. Let me hear you, my dear people, and let's know what your take and what's your opinion on this that has just been said by Mr. President, maybe. Don't forget your comments. They are very, very, very important. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.